And now, Wibbit's 2020 Local News First with WIBG News Director Rick Brandon. While they're pleading for help from the Murphy administration to bring state police into the street, a busy day in the state legislature on Monday, lawmakers passing a bill extending the state takeover of most of Atlantic City's major decision-making powers. The bill signed into law by the governor. The state will have been in charge in Atlantic City's major functions for nine years at the end of the term. We tried to reach State Senator Chris Brown, but Assemblyman Vince Mazio said they had no choice. The last session we voted for the extended state takeover four more years. We amended it to include civil service and the ability for the fire at least to arbitrate it was kind of a, another step in self government Any contracts that were already resolved or any personnel issues that were already resolved retained there that we can afford. So, well, for all intent and purposes, there's no reason not to bring New Jersey State Police in to assist Atlantic City Police in curbing crime. More than four deaths and several injuries, a bloody Father's Day weekend. But according to Atlantic City City Councilman Mose Delgado, in an interview with Wibbage 2020 Today, he says something's got to be done to break the back of this criminal lifestyle. We know areas that are densely populated or densely populated with people who tend to make bad choices. Some of them illegal, we have understand. So if we can have a foot patrol, even police officers on a bicycle, patrolling in those areas, being more visible and accessible to the community in general, we know that that can be a preventative measure and also a proactive measure in trying to solve crimes or eliminate the need or want on the side of the executors of these crimes to stop doing it all. They don't want to do it. We see police officers all over the place. Great homemade meals since 77 We're serving up a little slice of heaven at Dino's Seville Diner The tradition continues at Dino's Delicious family food and fun all at a great value Whether you dry it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner The food is outstanding You feel like you're part of a family when you come here With daily specials and deals that will keep you coming back again and again Dino's Seville Diner Here in South Jersey, our weather is always changing. That's why Nor'easter Nick is always there. I'm there when it matters most. Anytime, anywhere. And on any screen, so you know how to prepare. Tracking severe storms with the most powerful technology, so you're ready no matter where you live. Delivering the most accurate weather forecast on air, online, and on social media. Putting local first around the clock. Nor'easter Nick, South Jersey's weatherman. Wibbage 2020 Local News First with Rick Brancadora. What began as safety inspections for pedestrians and others in Emsecan led to illegal drug activity and now five people are behind bars. Local news you can depend on seven days a week. That support communication is, is, the, is the key. The whole involvement of getting people involved and listening to what being said. Wibbage 2020 Local News First. Always there when you need us. And I appreciate that. Wibbage 94.3. <laughs> 